Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Thick Empress Tarot. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Hope everything is going well with everyone. Guys, I've been getting so many messages, so many things have happened uh, in these past couple of days. But I was like, oh my goodness, I have to do this Divine Feminine read. And I was just like, led and guided and pushed to do this reading. Some cards. So that was all in the, in the reverse. Um, oh, Lord. And if I read them in the reverse, it's it's really just not good. It's like a queen of wands is throwing magic at somebody, uh, at somebody's love life. Let me look these cards up right. All right, guys. And I've already, you know, prayed, shuffled, and everything else before I got on. I'm just, of course, um on camera inviting god jesus the holy spirit ancestors angels and spirit guides of the white light into this reading i thank you guys so so much for everything i just have to fix this right quick Ooh. all right oh i forgot to light my fire let's see let me turn my light over here Okay. All right, guys, because I don't want to take up uh, a lot of time, you know, things that um, I forgot to do. So we're going to get the reading started, guys. You know how Divine Feminine uh, feminine readings go. We do your current situation, Divine Feminine, who's on your mind, the obstacle, and what it's going to be the outcome. So right now... The current situation for Divine Feminine. The current situation for Divine Feminine. So you're getting mental clarity about something. Yeah. Something very uh, positive, successful. Um, you're starting to realize that um, maybe you were in like a darkness in your mind. Well, now you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you're coming out of uh, stagnation and you're starting to plan for a uh, plan for a better future for yourself. Yeah, and whatever you're because you're changing your mental state, things are going to come in quickly for you. They're coming in quickly for you. Yeah, you were once in a stage of regret and remorse. And now you're you're seeing that things are gonna get better. Go ahead on, Divine Feminine. Go ahead on. This is much better so far from the last week that we had. All right, the person that's on your mind, Divine Feminine. The person that's on your mind. The person that's on your mind. Yeah, this is somebody. Um. This is somebody that you, oh, goodness gracious, you, um, you, this person has made you brave, compassionate. This person has given you, uh, the strength that you need to get this mental clarity. Ooh. Yeah, you have gained the strength from a situation where there was like lies, trickery, deception that was going on. You, you have now, you have conquered that. Whoever this person that is on your mind is like, it's basically a foundation that's ruined already. And, um, It's like, I'm, I'm guessing that this person is trying to avoid that. This person is trying to avoid this tower at any given cost. But this tower is going to happen. One thing about a tower, a tower is going to happen regardless. Whether you want it to happen or not, it's going to happen. 
And when it does, that's when this Ten of Pentacles is going to come in. That's when this inheritance, this love, family, um, ancestral blessings, all of that is going to come in once this tower is dealt with. But whoever this person is that's on your mind, they know that and what they're doing is they're causing a lot of mess, chaos, and confusion, trying to cause a lot of mess, chaos, and confusion for you. But you you, you have the strength. This person is doing a strong deception uh, spell. Look, just what I was about to say. This person is doing strong deception spells to make you... Um, lose out on this ten of pentacles yeah this person is sneaky 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 like a fox let's see the obstacle for the what's the obstacle for the oh I'm um, I'm not taking I'm a, the obstacle I'll clarify the obstacle for divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, and it could be it could be a lot that's going on, a lot of of things being accentuated. That's why all those cards fell out because it's a lot that's going on that's trying to stop you from achieving or succeeding the way that you're supposed to, but. You and you're starting to realize that you mentally you're starting to understand what it is and who it is that is sending these things your way. And so, the obstacle is that, um, the obstacle is you basically balancing out all the stuff that is coming your way, divine feminine. You have been going through a lot recently, a lot, a whole lot, and you're now trying to balance all of that out whoever this person that is on your mind this person has been sending you attack after attack after attack after attack this person want to leave you in a state of being disappointed being regretful being like you know you cannot come out of whatever it is that they're sending you away it could be a group of friends that is doing this community but we will definitely find out. And what is the outcome for divine feminine? What is the outcome? Okay, disconnecting. Alright, so what's going to happen is whoever these people are, the outcome is that you're going to disconnect from these people and you're going to um, protect yourself. You're going to protect yourself and you're going to protect yourself in a way to where the truth is going to come out. Your protection is going to be clarity and truth. That's how you're going to protect yourself with these people. And then once you do that, that's when... You're going to have someone coming in, giving you a message of celebration, okay? Yeah, it could be a, a, a king of wands, which is a fire sign. Gemini, I'm not large, not Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sagittarius, Aries, I always do this. Sagittarius, Aries, and who is the other fire? Sagittarius, Aries. Sagittarius, Aries. I'm not going to stop till I get this. Because this always happens to me with fire signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm going to think about it, y'all. And when I do, I'm going to come back because I'm not going to hold y'all up just for that. Um, yeah, but we have, um, we have fire on the board. A lot of fire is on this board. A lot of it. 
a lot of fire is on the board. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Who else? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So the only thing we don't have, oh, we do have water. We do have water. So everybody's on the board at this point. Um, Alright, so moving forward, when it comes to Divine Feminine's current situation, what is the eight of inspiration? Okay, so there's something coming in very fast, very, very, very fast, um, to where it's going to leave you in a stalemate position as to what decision to make. Like I said, there's somebody that is working, doing work to deceive you and have you to not see things clearly. Yeah, this person could be a cancer. This person is sending things your way to confuse you and make you not tap into your intuitive side. And that's what you've been working on. That's what you've been working on. All right, the person that's on your mind, give me something for the seven of horses. Yeah. Okay, so whoever this person that is on your mind, this is a person that you once shared love with. You thought that this person was your be-all, end-all. This was something that you really, really wanted. You was ready to move on and successfully have a relationship with this person. You thought that you and this person was going to get married, share love, have babies, and everything together. It didn't work out that way. It did not work out that way. Um, all right yeah you thought you and this person you and this person could have been married and you thought that y'all were going to we doing a five of wands you thought that y'all were going to build a legacy together it didn't happen it didn't happen yeah this person could be jealous because you're starting to shine like your wishes and stuff was, is starting to come to pass like whatever it is that you were wishing for you're starting to heal you're starting to have hope you're starting to have faith in everything and this person is jealous behind it so far to the point where they have gotten other people to come in and uh come against you this person is having nightmares about what they've done to you Whoever is on your mind, this person is having nightmares um, and putting themselves in a mental prison for no reason. For no reason. Whoever this person is and whoever they have uh, helping them, because they do have help. At least four other people is helping this person to, or has helped this person to come against, against you because some of you guys have came out of this situation some of you guys are going through it at this moment but whoever this person is that came against you with this person those people are now in their head like why did i do that i shouldn't have never did that all right so give me something on the obstacle the obstacle um we're gonna do Three of Wands. Yeah, like I said, this person tried to put you in a mindset or put you in your emotions to the point of you're confused, like you don't know what's really going on and it's funny because right now y'all still I'm still trying to think all the fire signs and I'm just totally confused so this person put heavy confusion spells on you. heavy you hear me heavy to where you like you know you, you don't know if you're going up down around side whatever don't know 
this person um, has done them. This person have you thinking like, well, maybe this is right. No, maybe this is wrong. Maybe, maybe this is, you know. And the obstacles that you're starting to balance yourself and get your emotions together. You're starting to get everything together. You're starting to realize and be more patient with yourself. If you haven't been, you need to uh, start, you know, being more patient with yourself and understanding that what you're going through, it, it, it too shall pass. Give me something on the temperance. Yep, this was a, a connection that you thought was divine. You thought this connection was divine. And you're balancing it. You're balancing it. You're balancing the fact that you thought that this was a divine connection. Come to find out this person has been confusing you the entire time. Look. Been having you in a mental prison. You coming out of that. And you're starting to see that there is a divine connection for you out there. And you're starting to move on. The outcome. Give me something on the four of cups. Yeah, you have been through a lot. You have been through a lot. You've had people to come against you. Um, I'm talking about these people been planning and plotting coming against you. And you're now taking a break from that and starting to realize that God has way better for you than what you could even imagine and so the truth and clarity is coming out and that's what is getting this situation back on track and the balance is going to come in at that moment again some of you all y'all are experiencing this to where you are overcoming this situation some of you guys get prepared because you're going to have to overcome this situation Yeah, and now that you are once like now that you're coming out of it, here's this emperor coming in wanting to apologize and share with share with you nothing but love because the clarity and the truth has come out, and you're gonna get a message uh, from this uh, emperor. And this emperor is not is not that person that's doing that to you. This is uh, somebody else. This is that divine connection that you are going to be stepping in. It's not this person who's done all of this mean and nasty stuff to you. Yeah, whoever this person... Oh, look, the empress then came out to me. Oh, what the devil. So yeah, the news that's coming in for you to celebrate is that you need to take time and go within and realize how abundant you are. Um, what is this devil? Let's clarify this devil. Yeah, you need to end whatever this old situation was because it was toxic. Very toxic. It was heartbreaking. This person was nothing but a cheater. And they are going to... Whoever this person is, their devilish ways is going to be exposed. They are going to be exposed. And you're going to have a new opportunity coming in. That's the good news that's coming in for you. The good loving news. This is loving news that's coming in. This is what your future is. This is what's going to be the outcome. 
Yeah, with this King of Wands. Oh, look, King and Queen of Wands. Whoever this person is, both of you guys are highly attractive people. Y'all are attracted to each other. You guys are both passionate about each other. You guys are gonna want to take leaps and bounds with each other. You guys are gonna have great sex together. You guys are gonna be like go-getters and get things done. So you guys, you know, can start, if y'all if wanna start a business, y'all gonna start a business. If y'all want to, whatever y'all put y'all minds to, y'all gonna take action towards it. You and this person are gonna be evenly yoked, okay? Yeah, y'all gonna be very, very stable, whoever you and this person is. I'm a love part. So now we're gonna clarify the hidden truth of this matter. Y'all, as I'm doing this reading, I just feel so calm. So I don't know if you, some of you guys have, um, you know, finally if the, the storm has hit and now you guys are calm. But I am feeling super, super, super calm. And I hope this is not the calm before the storm. But I feel like the storm has happened for a lot of you guys. All right, currently, what is the hidden truth for a divine? What is the hidden truth? What is the hidden truth? So this person who did all of this, uh, they possibly could have they did they left you they left you they knew that they were wrong for what they were doing and so they left you before you could leave them and then they got the nerve this is at the bottom of the deck i am not available okay that's fine all right the person that's on your mind what's the hidden truth about the person that's on your mind Yeah, they tried to make you believe that the timing wasn't right. Like, oh, we're, you know, um, not in the right timing. And, and so, therefore, this couldn't work. So, this person could have probably did something like, hey, you know what? Um, yeah, I know you're ready for a relationship and everything. But right now, the timing isn't right. Just give me a little more time, and then I'm going to come back and then you know, at that point, the, the timing is going to be right. And then we can probably get something started. Okay. And then it says you came closer than anyone else. So if you're feeling bad, like I gave this person my all, I did everything for this person and they still did not come back to me or they still didn't give me what I deserve. You probably got more than anybody else. This is the type of person that does not know how to love. And so they only gave you what they had. So don't feel bad. Don't make don't allow yourself to feel bad. And then look, I look for you everywhere. So this person, although they did all of that, they know there they'll, they'll never be there will never be another like you. The obstacle All right, so with this obstacle, this person now is, I'm starting to understand our connection. I love you unconditionally. So many things remind me of you. So the thing of it is, after this person has, and then look, I lost myself for a while at the bottom of the day. So the thing of it is, for those of you who have, who have ever heard this saying, you never miss a good thing until it's gone. That's what happened to this person. They don't want you until they can't have you anymore. Now this person is like, oh, now I understand this connection because the lovers came out. So you could have let this person know that, hey, we are twin flames. We are supposed to be together. This is a divine connection. And this person probably, well, give me more time. Give me more time. I'll come back after I work on myself. Knowing that they were not going to work on themselves. They just was not 
mature enough to handle the situation. So what they did was they backed out of it and went and played the field. And so what happened was what's happening now currently is that you are starting to get over this person. You are starting to see the lessons that was learned in this situation. And if this person was a twin flame, just maybe not this lifetime. Like Erica Badu says, I guess I see you next lifetime. Because this lifetime, y'all not going to, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. This person did a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So, now this person is like, well, I'm starting to understand our connection. I love you unconditionally. This is things that you wanted from this person prior to all of this happening the way that it did. And they were not giving it to you. Now, yeah, they want to give it to you now, but they wasn't giving it to you before. And so many things remind me of you. This person cannot get you off of their mind. So, Divine Feminine, whoever this person is, you're going to always be the person that got away from from this person all because they were not ready and they were immature and didn't understand the connection at the time we have free will to do whatever it is that we want to do you can wait on this person and say well hey they're going to get it together so I'm just going to wait on my person or you can say no I don't want to no judgments on whatever you want to do divine feminine whatever makes you happy However, this person did do a lot of shady stuff to you, even in the spirit room. They didn't just stop in the physical. They didn't just cheat, none of that. No, they went in the spirit room to try to stop you. And then I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, they lost themselves for a little while. Because there's no way somebody who have found themselves is going to go after a person who loves them and go into the spirit room and come after them. No way. No way you would do that. All right, the hidden truth about the outcome. I hid who I really am from you. And I look for you everywhere. So yeah, this person didn't show you who they really were. They did not, and that's why they disconnected. That is why they disconnected. But the truth came out. And you found yourself. Because some of you, you gave your all to whoever this is. You gave your everything to this person. Like you love this person unconditionally. And this person just stepped on everything that you did for them. Everything. And you had to choose you. And you did. And when you did, that's what woke this person up. And so for some of you, this person has hurt you so bad until you can't even think about taking this person back because that's how much shit that they have done some of you all you you like okay one more time one more time and I do it like this because this is a collective message so I can't just give a boom this is how it is so some of you guys y'all are gonna you know want to take this person back some of y'all are y'all not having it but for Whoever this resonates with, this person did some dirty, dirty, dirty shit. And look, at the bottom, I wish things could be different. Now they want things to be different. Now they want things to be different. Oh, Lord. Let's see. The current situation. Yeah, this person could be married. Y'all could have been married. Yeah. 
like I said, you decided to love yourself first. It says there was a, a wedding involved. This person probably, oh Lord, this person probably broke it off with you to go marry somebody else. It says this situation involves a marriage. So some of y'all that's going back to this person, y'all are going to be going back to a person that's still in a marriage, separated, or getting a divorce. And it says, love yourself. Your self, respects, your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So if this person is still in a marriage, I can't tell y'all what to do. I can't tell y'all what to do because whoever listening to this message should be grown enough to make their own decision. It's just that usually when people are married and they're not separated or getting a divorce or divorced, they'll tell you anything to get what they want. And usually if somebody is cheating on their spouse, they are selfish. They don't care about you or the spouse. The only thing that they care about is themselves. You don't want to put yourself in that situation. So, love yourself first. And that's what you're in currently. That's what you're doing. You're in that state of loving yourself. You're in that state of seeing that great things are coming through for you. past life relationship is gonna it seems like that's what's coming in but we'll you know clarify all right the person that's on your mind, divine feminine free yourself i cannot make it up some of y'all need to let go let go let go it is time for you to take back control of your life so once you love yourself free yourself even though because this person divine feminine though i don't want whoever this uh, resonates with i don't want you to get it twisted and think that this person doesn't love you this person do love you this person has a lot of love for you some of y'all this person have told you like i love you i really really do they do they do no if ands are buts about however this person has not worked on themselves. Um, this person, they highly attracted to you. Highly attracted to you. But you don't want it to be just that. You have to free yourself from that. You want more than just a physical attraction. You want y'all to connect spiritually, emotionally, mentally. If all of those things are not in the equation, if free yourself, it's time for you to take back control of your life. Because if not this person, that's how they come. They come in on a physical. Because that's all they can give you. Now if the person married, yeah, this person is wanting to hear he's or she, whoever's on your mind is the healing family issues or if you was married to this person now they want to heal fam you know they they willing to heal the family issues that you guys had that's why i say some of y'all will get back with this person some of y'all will not some of y'all was married to this person now it's time for you to love yourself first once you free yourself then they're going to be highly attracted to you if they were not in the past. All right. The obstacle. Very soon, decide what you want. Worth waiting for. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You are worth waiting for. So, Divine Feminine, go tap inside yourself. What is it that you want from a mate? What is it that you want from a mate? 
whatever it is that you want from somebody, stick to that. Stick to that. And whoever don't understand where you're coming from and can't wait for you, not worth it because you're worth waiting for. They're going to wait and they're going to understand. Nobody's going to put you in a third party situation when they really love you. They're just not. They'll break it off, clear all of that, and then they'll come to you. They're not going to want you to be in that situation if they can't give you, your all, give you their all. One thing I know about a man, when he wants something, he's going to go get it. He gonna wait for it. He gonna do whatever it takes to have it. You're divine. You're a divine feminine. So guess what? You're deserving of good wholesome love. Yeah, look what he says at the bottom. Flirt. Some of y'all need to get out that house. Flirt. Go find you somebody. Not you find because divine feminines will attract. But go and put yourself out there if they don't see you your pretty self because you're coming up as real beautiful and pretty if they don't see you how you, how they gonna get you they don't see you get out the house whoever this masculine is they're not the only person on this earth all right oh that popped out now look, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I did a two-parter. Because I knew it. And it was... Reconciliation. <laughs> ah, someone from your past is returning to your life. So y'all... This person may have changed. This person probably will come in. Look, came out again, healing family issues. <laughs> ah, good googly moogly. This person from your past definitely could change and be the person that you want them to be. Only you know. All I'm saying is don't let this person come into your life and they're only good for sex. They're only good for physical things. You can't get this person to do nothing else but come and lay in your bed. You don't want that. You don't deserve that. Men, they like to provide, protect, take care of their women. And women in return, you know, we respect our men. We love them. We cater. We, you know, we that follow men. So on both ends, if men, you're not getting that women, this is the uh, divine feminine read, you know, so if y'all not getting that, only you know. I can only put out the reading, but only you know. That's why I gave two scenarios, because this is a collective read. Some of y'all are supposed to reconcile with this person, because they, they, they're they going to get the lesson. Some of you guys taught this person a lesson, and they're getting it. Others of you, this person is not getting it, and you're going to have to free yourself and decide what you want. Some of you, you all have found another person. And so you're not knowing what to do because you have years with somebody else. But then you have this new person that you're connecting with as well. And you, you don't know what to do. You have to follow your heart. Sometimes years is just that years. But you have to follow your heart. You have to follow your heart. Divine Feminine, when I do y'all readings, y'all be putting me through it, man. And then when I get to Divine Masculine readings, that's when I get the clarity of y'all readings. Y'all readings, y'all come with the Wapow. Divine Masculine readings, y'all done put me through so much until when I get to Divine Masculine readings, it, readings it be like, 
smooth sailing. Y'all put me through it. <laughs> y'all y'all put me through it. All right, so let's see. I'm going to the heart cards. Shaped like a heart. And I think the reason why y'all readings be like that because a lot of you guys are in y'all head. A lot of y'all are in y'all head. And so because you're in your head, if I'm doing a collective reading, that's what I'm picking up on. But it is a collective reading, so it's not going to just be for one person. So whoever this resonates with. Yeah, that's... It says freedom. There is nothing stopping you. Your path is clear if you want it to be. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So, guys, once you love yourself first, when you love yourself first, you open up a plethora of opportunities. You can do whatever it is that you want. The path that you're going on is going to lead to marriage. But whoever you start dating and eventually end up with, start their foundation on friendship. That way we don't have to worry about this tower happening. And maybe y'all will avoid the tower. Look, power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no and walk away at any time. Y'all know. Y'all know what y'all should be doing and what y'all shouldn't be doing. What you should walk away from and what you shouldn't. Ooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm upsetting y'all. Oh, I love it. I love it. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So what's making you feel like you have to stay in this situation for those of you who feel like that? What's making you feel like you don't love yourself for those of you who are feeling that way? Examine that. Look inside yourself. Sometimes we have to do inventory on us. Like, what? what is... Why am I feeling this way? Did I see my mama react to situations like this? Did I see... Did my grandmother... Did somebody tell me that I should, you know, respond in a manner of this sort? Why am I... Why am I putting up with this? Why am I being so harsh to myself? You know, kind of do inventory on yourself. It's good to do that. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. You know, don't rush into it. Don't rush. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. And it's going to happen. It's going to come out. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So that's why it says, very soon, decide what you want so that it comes your way. The problem is, some of y'all are so stuck on the past that y'all are not deciding. Like I said, some of y'all dealing with two people. You're so stuck on, like, the old to where you're not embracing the new. But this blessing is coming in. Give thanks for it. Because it's coming in soon. That's why that eight of wands is right here. Your current situation is coming in soon. Some of y'all going to have to let that past go or that past mentality. Past actions, how you used to handle situations, you're going to have to let that go. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. <laughs> he not giving up, y'all. He is not giving up. I told you this person loved you. Deceived you. 
done some things. But this person loved you. This person has had you in all kind of mess and all kind of shit. But they love you. Or what, what it could be is that you guys had a past situation. Y'all met somebody new. This new person can also be coming up as a past person too. Only you know your situation. Passion. <laughs> Look what's at the bottom. It says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present time. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever floats your boat, Mr. King and Queen of Wands. With the obstacle. So with this obstacle, it's saying to trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So... Some of you guys just um, the ones that's moving on. Trust that whatever you went through, you had to go through it. You had to go through it. And now that you went through it, transmute that energy into this current situation that's coming up, and make it better. Those of you who are staying in the situation. Take what you have learned from this situation and make your situation better with this person. It says reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So some of you guys, y'all are like, um, you know, taking a break from this person. And you keep kind of like checking in, pursuing, checking in. No, just step back. Let this situation unfold naturally this person is going to come around when they are ready the person who's given resistance they're going to come around when they are ready don't keep pushing this person to see your value and see who you are they see it they just not ready for it or now some of them are starting to be ready for it and when they are trust and believe you mean they're going to come because one thing about a masculine he pursues he pursues. Masculines do pursue. Whether it's a female, masculine, or whomever, they're going to pursue. And then this person has a message for you. I am thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you. I told you this mother sucker love you. I told you. I told you. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to your soul. So, some of y'all, come out your head space. Tap into your heart. Don't be a fool. Again, I say that. Do not be a fool. But tap into your heart space. What is it that you really want? What is it that you really want? And whatever it is, follow that. Follow that. If it make you know, if it, I'm looking at me, I'm a head person. I was about to say if it makes sense, but sometimes it don't make sense. <laughs> sometimes following your heart just doesn't make sense. So it's almost like taking a risk when you follow your heart. And I'm going to leave it at that because then I'm going to start tapping into that mind. Follow your heart. I'm going to leave it at that. That's what they're telling me. Just be quiet and let, let the message be the message. Don't even dig more into it than what needs to be. Oh, okay. That one just came out. All right. So it says, you may not understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will be revealed. Yeah. Some of you guys, y'all had to go through this. <laughs> y'all had to go through whatever it was that y'all went through. Y'all had to go through it. And then it says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. 
So come out, like I said, come out of your head with everything. Some things just won't make sense. You and this person probably need like a play date together. Like maybe go on a date to like Dave and Buster's or to uh, one of these places like arcade places or, you know, something kind of childish and fun. Just to kind of loosen up and, you know, have fun with each other. And laugh and, you know, understand each other better. And then it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or no wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding. Did I have, this was somewhere else. No, okay. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So guys, like I say, follow that heart. See what that heart do. See what your heart does. Yeah. Get out your head. Get out your head. It says if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to the soul. Did I? Just, I don't know why I feel like I read these. But... Because they were at the bottom of the deck. That's what it was. And so now they popped out in the reading to let you come, let you guys know that there's confirmation to what I'm saying. Thank you, Spirit Team. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are great. So with that being said, guys, this is where I leave this reading. You guys, like, subscribe, share, comment. I would greatly appreciate it. And I wish you guys have a blessed day night, day, whenever you see this message. Be blessed.